Right, well, this is the right-hand rear fender. I think I might have given you a, a bit of a look at this previously, but uh, this is in really, really good order, this fender. There's uh, no dents in it or anything. The uh, Even the dog leg down there looks quite acceptable. However, when you look at it from the other side, and I'll show you shortly, it... Uh, could do with replacing and I do have one to do it so I will we'll replace that but all in all it is uh, it is just immaculate um, right around I'll just turn it around yep the edge of it up there part that I had to replace from the right hand side one is, is all in really good order. The actual inside of it, now I haven't touched that, that's uh, as it was, so there's very very little surface rust or anything attached to it. The edge there that I had to replace on the other one is quite sound. When you have a look at the dog leg from the inside, it looks as if it's had something painted over it to hide something, I would imagine. If you look in the edge there, you can see it's sort of a bit rusty looking, but it probably it possibly sandblast up okay. Um, but that this stage, just looking at on the face of it there, I do have that one, so I may well uh, cut that off and replace it. I will evaluate it further when I clean that off, but uh, yeah, very happy with that fender. And uh, I spent days and days on the right hand side one, getting it right, but uh, this is going to be a walk in the park, this one. So, yeah, I'll uh, show you the progress as we progress along with it. Righto, I guess we've made the decision on that one. No point leaving that ugly old crap in there. So, or particularly when we've already purchased the, the new dog leg. So that'll make that guard uh, perfect. And I'm going to be happy with that decision. Okay, well we're looking at the left hand uh, door alignment now and a couple of issues that have uh, come up that we didn't encounter on the right hand side that are worth uh, recording and noting. So we've got the fender sitting in the, the right place bolted down and we've got the door gap all nice and even down to the point where it meets the new dog leg. The door itself is mounted so that it is level and swinging level. So we know that the A pillar is sitting correctly. The B pillar is sitting in the right place, uh, albeit it's only held in by tech screws at the moment. Um, so I've started to prepare the, the dog leg. I've cut the little lip off that they provide uh, so that you can uh, spot weld onto the back of it. I don't need that. I'd do a butt weld. But what we have is quite a gap in the arc there. Now, researching that, I found that the door, the arc in the door is actually uh, 
doesn't appear to be correct. I've got two other right hand doors and what I've done is I've taken a template of, of the arc on both of those other doors and they're about the same um, on the outside edge. Now the line drawn there is about where the arc on this left hand door is which is at worst about an eighth of an inch out. Now what do we do about that? Well there's, there's two options I guess you could pro probably do what the factory did and find a door that fits better or we may have to modify that corner and fill it out somewhat to uh, come up with a decent even door gap and uh, bearing in mind that this is not too bad a door this one uh, I haven't done too much work to it yet there's a tiny little dent there and there and there which will which will hammer up uh, maybe a couple up in that area but generally speaking it's a good door so it's worth preserving so I'll persevere with it and uh, see if I can come up with a way of, of actually correcting that uh, dismal uh, arc, if you want to call it that. Um, so I've got that uh, almost ready to, uh, to tack on. Uh, I've got to trim it up a little bit more on the guard along there uh, to get a nice butt weld. I always leave them a little bit proud so that we can do the final adjustment with it, uh, with the flapper disc. Um, yeah, so we didn't uh, have that problem on the other side, but there you go, and uh, we'll see how it all pans out. Right, we've got that uh, dog leg tacked in there now. Final fit up, I'll have to move that uh, fender forward just a little bit, probably sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. Close that gap up a bit, but for the sake of the exercise, the gap is even all the way up. So uh, we'll get a result there okay. So pretty happy with that, apart from the arc in that door, which uh, I think I might be able to get a little bit of aluminium welded around there and, and shape it up and we'll probably uh, fix that. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes down the track.